Welcome to another video. Today we're going to talk about how you can use G-Pose mode in Final Fantasy XIV. You might be thinking, what is G-Pose and what is it actually? And I'm here to tell you what it is. G-Pose is a very cool system in Final Fantasy. It's actually like a camera mode in other games you know, but in this game it's called G-Pose. Everything you have to do is basically go to the chat in the game and write in G-Pose. I'm going to show you here, so if I end G-Pose, Basically, I paste in the chat slash G pose, G pose. You don't have to do more than that. It will load into this fantastic aroma. As you can see now, it has taken the weather effects around. It's night. I can basically look around. You can see they have like some commands on that corner. So every time, for example, you press space, your character, he's going to look at you like first resets, look at you. So basically, you could zoom in, press W to look a bit up. You can see it again in comments here, W, and then press space to reset the face. Do like this, then he will look at you. Then you have all the different settings in the right corner, and we're just going to go through some of them. For example, you have in here the first one, general settings like camera position, manual brightness, color filter. For example, right now I have echo on, but I can also disable and go back to normal. We could put on sepia, we could put on a formator, I don't know what that is. Uh, but let's just remove it. Screen effects, like do you want anything like some effects like blur or some, I don't know, you know, different like water, color, different stuff. You can like enable so you don't see things in the background so it's more focused on your character. Change with some lightning and stuff like that. You even can change like, you can even set like effects on, sorry, like if you were angry and you want a picture where it looks like you're angry or you're yelling or something like that, you can enable that. Or your deep freeze, you can also do that, like freezing, stuff like that. We also have like wet attires, like, like do the characters like a bit, a, a bit wet, I guess. Can see the big difference, but you know, still. You also have frames, so for example, you could do uh, cinema. So you can like do big cinema, so it really looks like a movie. It's actually like a super, super cool future also. Um, let's remove that. We also have lightning, so you can basically enable your lights. So like if we reset all the lightnings here, like this is lamp one, lamp two, lamp three. Like you can set up different lamps if you want to like do different things, like enable lamp one and choose between how the effect should it light everything up, only like me are very lightly me like and then you can also change the colors of the things like if you want that but personally i like the lamp two uh like sorry lamp one i'm turning on lamp one but i like the type two because it's like highlighting my character but not everything around me also you have like movements you can like do okay um walk forward and then you can like make the character look at you and then down here you have lift movements so you can like talk normally while your character like okay stop stop walking you can like talk very slowly if you're like a little slowly talking and then you can like put on like a bit more you know a bit more heavy talking and then you can enable like super heavy talking where you're like super moving your head while talking you know stuff like that you stop that you can also open up emotes where you can like do different stuff you can dance if you want like your character keeps and it keeps like um doing the same so you don't have to record it fast you can just wait a bit like I, this one is really good like a conversation where he just like keeps talking and pointing with his hands and stuff like that you can also do a laugh ha 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 or as i did in this video i basically started with the welcome to the video and while he's doing the emote you can actually also play the toggle limbs so you like so lips so now he's like holding break and then he starts talking so you can also do stuff like that it's it's pretty cool you also have where you can show people around you at the moment it At the moment, it basically shows everything around me. So like I can see different characters and so on. But you can actually like hide everything, even yourself. You can also like self only. So it's like you don't have to like have people right now. If you're like standing in the middle of the city, you don't have random people around you like getting in, in cross of your webcam or something like that, interfering with it. But like you have like stuff, save settings, character zoom. Yeah, you can basically save settings and load settings. Like if someone else have something you want to do, stuff like that. It's, it's, it's cool. 
You also have like things you can talk a lot and talk a lot of here. But still, I, I think this is really cool. Also, you should go into your key bindings and key bind hide interface because then when you then you can like basically hide your interface and do like that. So for example, we could um, go in here, stop doing that, only move, stop emoting, click space so he look at us. There we go. Oops, don't write anything in the chat. And there we go. So basically now I could record this and while he's recording, I could talk like, if you try to try look at his mouth, I could do like, hello everyone and welcome back to another video. It's today we're gonna talk about uh, how you can prepare a ham and eat it while it's warm. But you know, basically stuff like that. It's, it, it's I, I like it. It's first time I see this in an MMORPG and it's blowing my mind. That's why I'm making this video because it's blowing my mind. Imagine all the things I can do with this. I can basically do full guides with just this. I could do full videos. I don't even have to have wig came on. I can just do videos with this, where this guy is talking. It's insane. Insane. And I can do funny TikToks, shorts, stuff like that. Insane. I think it's going to be fun, but let's, let's play with it. If you're thinking, how do I dwell in? How do you do, how, how do I bind so I can actually remove interface? <laughs> well, let me show you. So open up a, a click escape. Then you find the key bind. Then you go to system. And then you can find this one here called uh, da, 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 this one. Toggle the UI displayed mode. The default is on scroll lock, but my keyboard doesn't have scroll lock since it's a TKL keyboard. So I just used one of the Danish letters. Ö, ö, ö. Yeah, you probably can't say that because you didn't, you're not. From Scandinavia. But um, thanks for watching everyone. It was just a quick tutorial on how to use G-Post and I just found out about it myself. And that's why I'm making this video because I want to share this with every one of you. So have fun, try the G-Post, make some awesome screenshots, make some awesome pictures of your character. It just went to never another level. So thanks for watching, have a nice evening everyone and see you in another video. Bye. And as always, remember to subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed my Final Fantasy content. Good night.